I don't normally talk this much, but... Uh, well, I guess we'll get a chance to talk more. Uh, so, we'll be starting with, a, again, with a Duke save. So, we're moving fast forward in time, and we decided to review the last save that came out, which is fresh in our minds. It's a Duke save that came out last week. And again, I have uh, Denley with me, uh, my partner yep. in crime with those things. And Duke is one of his, uh, if not his favorite heister, I think. And... Uh, top three for sure. Which are the other two? Um, well, there's Sid, which yeah. I remember when you did that review. I yep. led. Kind of scared me, but <laughs> I, love, I love the Sid safe. I love Sid. It's just everything worked. And then the uh, jacket. Jacket. Oh, no jacket safe, oh. unfortunately. Uh, yeah. Not yet. Yeah. Don't worry. We'll finish the hotline class. In one of these <laughs> days. It won't. It won't get added. But it. It's kind of my mentality of that. Finishing Once it. Once we finish it, then they'll contact us. Hey, we love it. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's yeah who knows? Who knows? But, yeah. I. I think it'd be cool, but make a community jacket safe. Few... Mm. Oh, that'd be beautiful. Anyway. <laughs> Back so the, to the back to the Duke safe, the appearance of the safe is a little bit misleading because you would think that maybe the skin inside would be gold and green and marble or kind of white, but it's not really the case. <laughs> I think they went more with the approach of these are the guns he's collected over the years. Yeah, they look more like collectible guns because some of them do have a little bit of uh, background and story behind them, I think. Uh, anyway, let's start. Uh, was it Barney, Breaker 12G? Um, looks a really basic breaker with wooden parts and a little message um, to Bunny, I owe you one, Clyde22832, which is actually, I checked it out and it's something that uh, really existed. Um, Bunny actually uh, gifted a pistol to Clyde and it's, it says exactly that, those numbers and those words. So it's interesting they decided to put that on the breaker for some reason and not a pistol. but. And if you flip on the other side, you can see B and C was a hard shape again. So, uh, oh, the love! I can feel it. <laughs> I mean, it's this uh, is one. I yeah. I actually like this one. It it's it's a really nice blue, the the gunmetal. Yeah, it shines blue. Flat. Yeah. And the wood texture is pretty nice, kind of grainy and clean. Yeah. For a common, I'm I'm actually surprised that they actually tried to polish it and finish it well and give it that kind of antique look a little bit. Yeah. It's still a little empty, but I feel like that's what this gun needed, or as a common. Well, especially for the style. Like collectible guns, yeah. like antique from early century, uh, early yeah. last century and something. So I think he did his, the, the skin designer made it, did his work and tried to find things in American history that maybe Duke would be interested in collecting. Yes. Yeah. That's the way I see it, sort of. Yeah. I like I like it overall. Then the Castigo forty four Clyde. Nothing really historical about this one, but I mean, at least for the there is no engraving on it or anything. It's just a Bunny and Clyde heart again on one side. Uh, same kind of more fi refined wood pattern and just straight oil, oily metal kind of uh, old school antique. I looking. really like. I really 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 like the uh, chamber on this. Yeah, that shine to it. It's definitely more shiny, yeah. With kind of goldish shine, yellow. Yeah, uh, I I think it's really clean. The only critique I have on it is they didn't really go in depth with other attachments. So if oh, you put yeah, not not the one with the spike grips. I can understand why that isn't really modded. But if you put the other grip on, it's more of just a plastic grip. Oh, they didn't. Give they it's didn't not really put... plastic. There's mm. no, there's nothing on it. It's the gray. Yeah, I don't have access which to is those. Which really disappointing. Yeah. There's, it's empty. Like yeah. I feel like you should carry that over, because it, from my experience with uh, adding or making skins for actually two Castigo skins. Yeah. It's not really too difficult to adapt the grips. So I, I'm a little disappointed with that, but well, there's a little misaligned either way. texture, a little bit, just above on the left of the grip, above the, the heart, you can see there's an indentation in the wood, and it's not really exactly matching. 
if you see it. Uh, where is it on the grip? Just above on the upper part of the of the heart. On the wooden grip, uh, there's like a, a you cut out a piece of wood, and that part is not matching with the rest of the body exactly. They tried to make it match, but it's not perfect. Oh. Okay. <laughs> it's hard to see though from far away. Oh, it looks nice and stuff, but you zoom I still in. like this skin. No, it's still a nice skin. Yeah. This this one it gives, it gives me a little bit of that um, feel of just instead of adding the souped up barrel with the souped up grip and everything, it's kind of nice to just go back to the to the classic. Original. And that, that's what they wanted to do with that, I think. Yeah. It's really classic, collectible, antique. Anyway, next. Uh, there's a Tertullian, Gallant. Uh, again, some, you can see that they worked really on the, on the wooden pattern. It's really fine compared to older version of wood patterns we had in, like, let's say, the, I think the Dallas safe, which was kind of weird. Not the best type of wood. <laughs> this one really uses the shape of the weapon again. There's some kind of Arabic writing. I don't know exactly what it means, but... Yeah, my I... guess is that it's related maybe to World War Two, uh, the African campaign, North African campaign, yeah, that happened in that... Morocco and Algeria. Uh, that makes sense. I do like the wood. The wood is really nice. Yeah. I I still just it feels like it's the base get the base gun. Yeah. In my eyes, it's just. It looks like a simple gun. Yeah. It's clean, it's simple and whatnot, but there's just not much. And you can see a lot of little flaws when you uh, zoom in, like on the trigger. It's like yeah. a little, little bit of wear, unless it's intended and they wanted to make it look old, which is possible also. It is possible. I have never skinned a Gallant, so I don't know, maybe you know better about it. Uh, I, I don't think I have either but the wood texture is actually pretty nice it looks realistic yeah, to me the wood is nice see now nah, that's that's a good point that you mentioned that's throwing me off if it's intentionally slightly worn for the look mm -hmm. or not if it is that is a very good that 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 would that would help me improve my view on the safe <laughs> Maybe it kind of, if we did that skin, maybe we can find out more about that, I suppose. And cover their asses <laughs> for all the little mistakes. Because I don't think the other Gallants I've seen have those little worn parts on it. I don't think so. I'll have to take a look later. Yeah, we'll see. Well, you, you know those things better than I do. <laughs> <laughs> Next one, uh, Oxidator GL40. That looks, again, kind of old school World War II style, sort of. Just metal and wood. Still a really nice wood again. They did a pretty pretty good job of kind of following the, the shape of the wood. It looks like it's kind of carved into wood. It's not just yeah. a, a really wrapped around texture on it. So I, I could see the work in there. And the metal looks like, I mean, kind of age World War II or kind of older metal from the barrel. It's simple. I'm not a big fan of it, but it's well done. Yeah, it's it's clean. It it fits. The only thing I I'm not a fan of is the sticker on the stock. Yeah, that's kind of strange. Doesn't it doesn't seem to fit in? Yeah. Like even if it was like maybe a little bit torn, worn, burned, pop possibly. I feel like that would help if they really wanted the sticker. That would help. But yeah. it just it just seems too new too nice to be on a on an old weapon yeah yeah i could see that especially the sticker is reused on other weapons which is kind of interesting moving on to the palido madre chicago typewriter um and palido madre means pale mother in spanish i think um, so it has some uh, engravings on the body that the regular typewriter doesn't have, which is a little bit of interesting detail for um, for a common, to be honest, to see the engraving on there. The clip is looks on purpose worn. I think that's something intended on there, uh, I believe. And the white parts, I don't know exactly what it is, if it's white wood or ivory or pearl or something else. Uh, 
it looks strange and slightly unfinished. It's kind of like you rub something on the white for some reason. It's not the best for me. Uh, I'm not a fan of the grips or stocks at all. I, yeah. I do not like them one bit. I do like the engraving, though. That the engraving is nice. It kind of yeah. shocks me because I'm, I'm not normally a fan of engraving. This one is but well they done. They really yeah. made it fit the gun yeah. and just. If, to be honest, not it, it, it might be overdoing the wood, but if they took that wood and put it on here, it would actually be a skin I think I'd use. I think with the wood, it would be pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe but, even a, like a whitish version of the wood. This is just strange. I don't know what yeah. it is. <laughs> it's just. I can't not identify myself. the material, so. Unless it's like ivory, I don't know. Could be. Who knows? Possibly. Next Other one. That, yeah. Still decently good, so. No, not for a common to have the engraving, it's different. So yeah. it's moving on to the copper green. This one is the one that inherits the same sticker as the GL40. It looks like it has the same metal pattern. There is no anything, no particular engraving. I think the only difference between the, besides the metal is just the grip that has, uh, again, the nice wooden material to it. with a nice shiny finish to it, kind of oily. Pretty plain gun, but if you want to look, have a, like an old school World War II look, it's perfect, probably. Yeah, I, I like the wood. I don't like anything else. Yeah, the wood I is really well done. Yeah. I, mm. I understand why they had all the colors and the wear and the sticker and whatnot, like the intent behind it. But it just, it doesn't look, it's not really my type. No, it's a common anyway, so yeah. Copper green. It's not even green. Anyway. <laughs> or copper. <laughs> I'm colorblind, so it doesn't matter. Uh, next one, Justice Pearl uh, for the Peacemaker, which again uses kind of weird rubbed off pattern whitish thing from uh, the, the Chicago typewriter I think the same yep. kind of nice golden finish metal it's not as shiny on the barrel for some reason the barrel looks a little bit more used uh, but you can see like the, the wood grain on, on the grip which is probably part of the skin the, the weapon itself not the skin I'm yeah guessing. that is yeah. part of the weapon yeah this is another one where I'm surprised why didn't you go with the wood yeah they wanted to make some CG, maybe not just wood, they wanted something else, I guess. Yeah. They use that weird pattern with some skid marks on it or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I... Not great. Simple. Yeah. Once again, I'm I'm just sound like a broken record. I don't like the ivory. The metal looks nice. Yeah, and that's, that's it. Pretty... It's a common. Also, yep. another thing that surprised me when I first saw this safe, there's seven commons, which yeah, is yeah, that's right. different from the six commons. They took an uncommon and made it a common. I wonder which one. Maybe it's the one with engravings on it? The, the typewriter could have been an uncommon, maybe? I don't, I don't know. But, yeah. Or Even the breaker? There are, hmm. I, there are, for example, a lot of these do have, like, almost like a brother-sister. Like, you have your, the Bonnie and Clyde. Yeah. You have... Padre, or uh, not Padre, Madre, and Pearl. Yeah. Like they're similar style. You have your oxidator. Yeah, oxidator and the copper, copper green. green, which have the same copper. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of. I guess it's a uh, desert stallion that's not part of the family there, but. Yeah. <laughs> but that, maybe that's, that's the uncommon. Little... I don't know. Anyway. Um, next one, classic finish uh, for the MP40. Again, a nice kind of more white uh, wood to it, lighter tone, with a pretty nice actually engraving on top of uh, the weapon, with the, another one above the clip as well. So, otherwise it's just regular black metal, which you would expect from if it's a collectible weapon, and it's engraved with a 1942 on them. Um, on a body, which I'm assuming would probably mean that it was used in, during World War II, most likely. I thought that was 1949. Oh, oh, yep, yeah. 49. Oh, I'm blind. 
Yeah, I you're right. Know. Well, it's a nine. It's not finished, and if it's a two, it's not finished either. Huh. Yeah. Because MP40 is a World War II weapon, so it would make it sense to be 42. So the two would make more sense. But it's just not finished. Neither is a nine. When you when you hover it around, yeah. yeah. Maybe he was in war and halfway through. Engraving. Maybe he, he just... died when he engravings or two. Huh? It's possible. That would make sense. <laughs> The two does make more sense. Now that you mention it, though, because I don't really see a purpose of this being after 1945, other than a collectible. Yeah, and you can see the clip, the top part of the clip. There's something slightly different about it. There's some kind of design on it, but I can't really see what it is, unless it's just wear. I'm not, I'm not sure. I really do like the engraving on the top. A little angel above the clip. The engraving on the top kind of reminds me of body a little bit. Some of the skin's yeah. body had in a way, even though it's not the same design. That it's... and the... Yeah, the angel. That That's really nice engraving. The color's not too bad. It's to me, pretty... the wood just sticks out too much, though. It's a little too light, you think? It should have been a little darker, maybe? Yeah, given I, I kind of like more of the darker woods, but mm. that's more just personal preference than anything. Yeah. I think it's a pretty nice uncommon, to be honest. There's a fair bit of detail yeah. that in other safes it probably would have been a rare, most likely, but still uh, a good skin overall. I, I, I might buy it, who knows. I don't use MP40 all that much, though. Uh, but, it's too much uh, like the Swedish cave for me. Yeah. Corrosive Blossom. So it's another skin, again, dark metal, some wood features to it, and it's a ton of engraving all over the body, pretty much. It's mostly copy-paste engraving, I think, in that case. They did a pretty good job, though, not overloading it with engravings, I think. There's even some a big one on the mag. It's pretty nice overall, I think. I, I feel like, honestly, the engraving on the barrel is too much. Maybe it, a little bit too much? It seems a little forced for the barrel. I really like it on the magazine, even though that'd be a little bit more unrealistic. So maybe they could have used battle. a different engraving on the barrel. Unless it's, uh, yeah. yeah. But something more with a longer line, just maybe. Mm. This is one where I feel like they they used the engraving as more of a crutch. It's just a little too much. It's maybe a little bit too much, yeah. It could have been yeah, worse. I'm yeah. not as big of a fan of engraving. But... Yeah. There's not a lot of good best cell skin out there, though. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's not much you can do with it. Yeah. I mean, it has a lot of holes and things. The body's pretty nice, so you probably can skin that pretty well. But I think it's a pretty overall, in my book, it's, it's decent for what I'm coming. Yeah, something I'm noticing, maybe it's just me, but when you look at it from the very top, from behind, yeah. the engraving seems to be pushed off to one side a little. A little bit. They seem to be leaning to the right slightly. Yep. It's not exactly centered. Yeah, I noticed that for sure. Uh, a little sloppy, maybe? <laughs> not sure. Still, again, a really nice wood texture again, overall. Yeah, I honestly, the wood throughout the safe is really yeah. clean. Yeah, I think, I think they put a lot of focus on that. Yeah, it looks realistic compared to Dallas. <laughs> uh, yeah, we don't talk about Dallas wood. <laughs> Twins of grain, uh, Akimbo Crossgales, guard, which came, I think, they were, these were came with Dukes, I believe. Uh, Yep. So those, again, black, white, and red. I don't, I don't know if it's Glezer or something. Uh, different kind of looking grips. Uh, it has a, the D sticker from, from Duke, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Reminds me, again, it's to me, it reminds me of the, the wolf color theme a little bit. I can't help it. White, red, and, and black. Yep. Kind of gold finish on the metal parts. It's pretty decent, classic, uh, simple. A little detail about Duke. Um, what yeah. do you think? Um, I I don't know. I have mixed feelings. Like 
when you zoom in on the grips, I really like the... It honestly kind of looks like like a sand type pattern to it. Yeah, and it's kind of like grainy. That. Yeah, like a grain. To me, it reminds me maybe of leather. I, I don't know. But, but I feel like when you zoom out on them, like when you're actually just pulling them in game, you don't see that as in depth. No. It's just, I don't know. I'm it's a pretty fine pattern. Those. Yeah, it's a pretty fine pattern overall, and you don't really see it in game. You don't see the D much either, unless you reload. Yeah. So yeah. I it's, think so. yeah. It's a decent it's right skin. on the edge for me. I, yeah. It's clean, but I'm not sure if I'd use it. Yeah, I don't see any obvious flaws on it. Yeah. I I think they kind of emphasize that also, just really focusing on. If we're gonna make some skins. Let's make sure there's not. Bit textures on that are hanging off this side or anything <laughs> yeah. of that sort. Let's if we're gonna make them, let's make them clean. They've been so, doing that more, I think. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll give them props on that. Uh, moving on to the rares. The next one is actually pretty interesting. The golden serpent, the broomstick, which is actually extremely detailed. It looks like something from Asia. It has a dragon, and I don't know what the signs mean. And I would be inter I would be interesting to know what this means actually. Uh, I'm thinking that's Chinese. Yeah. Given I've had way too many Chinese professors. <laughs> so. Lots of gold engravings. They use the squares and the geometry of the gun pretty well, actually. And the texture is pretty fine. They did a pretty good job not destroying the the quality of it, which is probably for me is the most detailed skin in the safe, to be honest. This by is far. by far my favorite skin. No, it's by pretty nice. Far. I the gold on it, even though it's the main feature, it fits the style. Yep. Custom it, made. It, that yeah. that gold seems like okay, this, this might sound like a little racist, but not like intentionally. <laughs> but that seems like a Chinese gold. Right. Yeah. It it seems like something that would come from China or what I'm assuming China. It could but, be um yep. Yeah. Custom it could custom be made anywhere. and plated but and it, detailed. It, yeah. I really like it. This is this is where the engraving, where I would say this is perfect use of it. Best best use of engraving, because you use the geometry of the gun really well. Also. Very, very well. Yeah. It's like uh, almost jewelry, if you see what I mean. Yeah. The, I guess the only problem I have with it is it's a German gun. So it's yeah. kind of out of place that way, especially when you look at the other side. You see machine work. Oh yeah, I mean it could Your be somebody victory. from Germany, you know, that yeah. sent a gun to be customized <laughs> in yeah. China. Either oh. way, I love it. I the still don't have one. If you look down the barrel, uh, it looks funky on the left part yep. of it. <laughs> that's the only part. That, that's the only part I have a problem with. But it's yeah, it's something happens. I, I like the gun too much. I just kind of forget yeah. about that. Yeah, you can't really see it anyway, so it's just have to be. Paying attention to detail when you preview it, but I'll probably get one because I don't have one broomstick skin right now. I really like it, yeah. Who knows, you might get one today. Yeah, maybe. Cross kill the king. Uh, 1917 World War One Commander of the Dance Floor. <laughs> I don't know exactly what that means, but that's interesting. So it's uh, it has that engraving, not the highest quality of it on the on the slide. It has an interesting kind of stained glass blue uh, grip, uh, geometrical shapes, and it has a P and an E, which I don't really know what they mean. Uh, maybe you know. On each side of the grip. I don't know. So I wonder if it's something part of. Um... Oh, I think. Of... Okay, I get it. The King, Elvis Presley. What do you think? Yeah, that. that 1917. Was he yes. dancing already? Yeah. That... That makes complete sense. He was the commander of the dance floor. Like he had, he had the moves, and in a sense, yeah, I can get made. that. So yeah, that's a gun made in Elvis' name, I guess. <laughs> Interesting. That makes I think sense it's now. It's kind of nice. It's, an, I mean, Crosskill. It's kind of lends itself to 
to skins pretty well, and people like the cross scale overall because it's a good pistol. Yeah, the only problem I have, I, I say this too much, there's there's a lot of skins for cross scale. So too many. Like, yeah. It's kind of tedious. It's like the Bronco. <laughs> yeah. Between the akimbos and the singles, there's a lot of skin skins for it. Yeah. So I just quick did a search, and 1917 was when Elvis was born. So yes, this is an Elvis Presley gun. Cool. For sure. So Elvis has a weapon <laughs> in his yeah. name. So we'll see. I mean, I don't dislike the skin. I don't think I'll get it because I have better cross skills to use. But it's interesting, kind of nice touch. It makes sense in a collectible standpoint from, from Duke's view. I'm not as big a fan of the grip, uh, like the hand grip. Right. style but yeah it's not bad it's just maybe not quite my style yeah uh, let's see next rare that's presidential oil repeater so again uh, kind of golden finish uh, oily kind of metal uh, wooden parts kind of shiny also it looks like they've been um, like polished and Varnished, I guess. And there is like, um, if you look at this, it's easier to see on the non player side. And there's like a golden sticker with a bear on it, which I wonder if it's related to Roosevelt or not. I don't know. That, <laughs> you mention all these things and it makes sense. That, that does make sense, but <laughs> I'm not 100% sure on that. Yeah, I don't know either. Here's the theories. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> that would make the most sense because Roosevelt is the one that's kind of tied with the bears and teddy bears and so on. Yep. So, that would, I mean, it's not a I, great skin, uh, but a little too I, shiny. Yeah, it's a little shiny for my liking. Another thing that kind of popped in my head when I was looking at this is, is to me, the oil pattern looks yeah. way too much like the oil spill legendary a little bit yeah like except it's style, nicer it's just well maybe not the colors but the the, the swirl wait yeah the swirls and the waves it just it seems a little too close yeah and another thing the wear pattern or like the the color underneath what you see on the metal yeah i i've unboxed a well used and battle worn oh wow which I think is kind of lucky, but I. It didn't look too good. It, it doesn't, it doesn't fit. It's like a really bright silver. Oh, I see. Oh, because it's a regular weapon under. Yeah. It, it just doesn't look right in my eyes. So. Yeah. Thankfully, I have friends who want the skin, so <laughs> they can go have it. And we're going to move on to the epics with uh, Ash Stain. I couldn't find anything about this. Uh, again, it kind of has a golden hue, even on the wood and the metal. Uh, there's a nice golden, detail, detailed golden part on the middle, as again, saying Jerry Anderson. I don't know if it's part of uh, the, the justice. I don't think it is, but uh, could be. Who knows? Um, Overall, it's a kind of classic skin, just because of the gold hue to it and a nice wood finish. But there's not a whole lot you can do with, with a Jocelyn, unfortunately. Not a whole lot. I'm not the biggest fan of the gold. I feel yeah. like it pops out too much, considering the, the rest of the gun. Yeah. I do really like the wood burning on the stock, mm -hmm. though. Yeah. That's really clean. It, it looks really nice yeah, it's well finished both it's, but yeah once again the wood is a very nice wood yeah it's a, it is quite shiny but in you can make wood quite shiny like that yeah, especially was... if it especially like it i would imagine duke getting this and just like polishing it. it really nice <laughs> polishing it as if yep. it was his baby was like taking care of it and whatnot. Like, I yep. other, I like the skin. Just gold is. It's pretty nice. I have to debate between that and the, the Dax. Yeah, 
<laughs> I don't use a gun a lot. That's my problem. Yeah, I don't use the over under much either. And moving on to another shotgun again, the Five Brass, which is a classic Moscone with again a nice, less grainy wood pattern for some reason, a little bit thicker grain, uh, some nice gold detailing again on the trigger and the main body. The barrel is just plain regular metal. And there is on the other side um, a sticker says to a straight shooter from a friend, which I don't really know the meaning behind that, or the five stars, the five brass, to be honest. I couldn't really find anything, at least quickly, when I was looking. I do see on the player side there is like a little, almost like a banner that says something. Oh, where? Like, right in the middle of the gold. On the player it's side. Really easy to if you look at it from... Oh, yes! Yeah. Yeah, there's something there, but can't quite pick out what it says. Yeah, can't zoom in anymore. Oh. I do like... It fits the gun. I, I'm not a fan of the To a Straight Shooter from a friend. It's probably a reference to something. But it, it doesn't really fit. The stars also... I feel like it just doesn't fit. The it's style. a little less polished and finished than the Joss one. I think. Once again, I really like the wood. Yeah. It's clean. The entire safe is really nice in that fashion. And sadly, I don't use a mask any much either. I use many of the other shotguns much. I used to use them quite a bit more, but. I used the over-under a lot. Then I just stopped. Yep. I don't know why. And we'll move on to the legendary, which I have one of and broken in, I think. And that's just the regular cross skill guard. Uh, it's all gold, a nice shiny gold uh, with maybe some kind of ivory or white grip to it with a gold sticker for D for Duke I'm pretty sure and it says kneel before the Duke which is overall a fairly simple skin but it's gold so I guess that's why they made it legendary it's, it's a little bit disappointing for me again especially after making the big time of Bay Raider which was also all gold like this just more engraved for some reason so that's a little bit of a letdown although I do understand why they they made Duke signature gun this thing um, I I like the really trying. I'm really digging out of the positives here. I like the Duke sticker on the grip. Yeah. But everything else is just. I saw this and I'm not gonna lie. I was like, this shit. <laughs> like, I I don't know. Everything about it is just disappointing. The white yeah. is just. It's white. The gold. It's not like we've ever seen a gold pistol before like it's it's almost the exact same gold like as, as a bto yeah yeah actually i'm not gonna lie i think it is the exact same gold let me take a look and yeah i, I don't know it's it's i saw it as just i feel like they had so much potential considering you look at the golden serpent and you saw how much detail they put on that and you don't put that much. I'm not saying you have to it's engrave everything, goal. but there's it's there's just so much missing. And I for legendary, yes, you could have put a little bit more. I mean, Duke is classy, so I don't expect heavy detail on his guns, but yeah. a little bit more at least. <laughs> it's it's just, the same gold, yeah. It's, it's so I don't know. And it's actually it. It's yeah. kind of depressing for me, thinking, oh, Duke is... I'm going to say right now he's probably my second favorite character. And this is his legendary. It's... I don't know. It, uh, you win some, you lose some. It's just... I think I was... Uh, I need to buy a cross kill guard. I don't have one right now. Uh, it was pretty disappointing because you couldn't mod it very well. 
unlike the, the BTO, uh, some of the mods are just not skinnable. They, they're just metal. You see what I mean? Uh, the extended mag is just black. Which is lame. At least the big time of radio had better stuff on it. So I'm just showing here. Uh, the silencer is at least oh, oh, gold. So. Sight is a gray. Yeah. Like a, a boring gray. Yeah. That's at least somewhat fits. Not great, but it doesn't clash too much. Yeah. At, I'd say at minimum for a legendary skin, make everything fit. But why is the magazine plain black? It's kind of stupid I to me. I don't know. Yeah. Like for what I try to do for all of my skins that I have a hope for making the game. Some of my skins, like one I just released, I'm not. I'm not going to do a shameless plug on that. It's a Borderlands skin. Yeah. I, I purposefully made it to fit those parts. I didn't put much detail into anything else. Maybe a little bit of detail, but. For, for anything that I want to be in the game, or that I have hope for being in the game, I at least look at all, every single attachment that's available at that time, yeah. and make sure, okay, at least this isn't, it, it fits with the gun. Yeah. Maybe there's not anything detailed on it, but the colors fit, it's yeah. decent. But I feel it, like yeah. they easily could have done that with this. With the side, the clip, and the gadget. The gadgets are also just regular black. Make it make it a gold, make it the white, something. Not yep. the black where it doesn't fit anywhere in the scheme. And that's what they did with a big time of predator. It's pretty much all the parts except a few were all skin, which was nice. Yeah. But anyway, so maybe they're getting lazy. <laughs> yeah. If you're gonna take your time, I I'm not gonna lie, I kind of expect more of an output. Yeah. Or at least come out with another community safe. That probably soon, I'm guessing. Um, yeah, I hope so. Because I think I'm excited to be disappointed again. I mean, <laughs> I'm kidding. I, I back when I restarted making the hotline skins, I I was too focused on making it, and I didn't. It wasn't as enjoyable. Now I just make the skins because I want to make the skins. Yeah, and that's what it should be. I feel it. Like, yeah, that's how it should be. So at this point. I'm not expecting to make it in. I, if I make it in, that's that's a plus. I just enjoy making them. I enjoy people saying, "Hey, this is cool." Okay, at least one person in the world thinks it's cool. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, shall we open a couple saves? Sure. I'll start with that. Oh, Justice Pearl! That looks awesome. Between three epics, <laughs> Clyde. the tease. Between a presidential oil and a twin grain. Oh wow! Battle worn. I got the light remarked. Justice Pearl. It's probably three cents by now. <laughs> oh yeah, guarantee. I know it's a Justice Pearl. Oh god. Oh. Overkill wants my reactions. It. Barely just went over uh, the epic one with the stars. Oh. At least there's a mint Justice Pearl. I'll say that for everything. If it's mint, I won't be completely disappointed. Copper green. Well used. Oh. It doesn't take the wear too bad. That's not bad. <laughs> I heard Overkill heard that I love the ivory pattern, so they gave me another Justice Pearl. <laughs> I'm getting another one here, Palido Madre. At least, well, I'm looking at the well used, and it's actually still really nice. Like, there's more, there's wear around the edges, the trigger guard, the hammer, and whatnot, but it still looks kind of like a mint. That's nice, actually. That that's I, as much crap as I give the skin. That's that's all right. It's all right. Uh, stop, 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 stop. Presidential oil. Oh, nice. I got another one for you. There's my... <laughs> well used. Oh. K 
Can I can I get a lightly marked at least, please? <laughs> Let, let's just take my well used, my well used, and my battle worn, smash them together, and just get a better quality. That's all I want. So I might have I, a I, well used Bonnie right now, and the wood wear just nothing under. <laughs> I I shouldn't be complaining that I got a pink. No, you shouldn't be. That's pretty nice. I shouldn't be, but good old greedy deadly. I'm gonna get blues probably. How does a party do madre? Stat. Copper green. Well you stat. It doesn't look bad. Oh nice. I don't see any difference. Oh no, I take it back. There is a difference. There is a very slight wear on the trigger. <laughs> I guess that is a positive with the safe also. The wares don't really matter as much. It's more of... It blends more with the style, I guess. Yeah. Some of them still show their wear, but... Some of them fit pretty nicely. Okay, I'm sick of getting Justice Pearls. <laughs> Those are half, stallion. Half of them I've opened have been Justice Pearls. Wow. Mint Desert Stallion. Okay, cool. You need a Justice Pearl, I got one for ya. <laughs> Sadly. I have a couple of those. Yeah. Cup of green. Clyde Justice Pearl. <laughs> another That's one? That's about all I'm getting. Oh, another Justice Pearl. How lucky. There you want. I could get one. Twins of grain. Oh, a mint one. <laughs> Please be mint. Which one did you get? Twins of grain? Broken in. Oh, nice. Actually, I'm not gonna lie. I do not see. Oh, other than the trigger, I do not see anywhere. On the lightly marked? Broken in. Oh. And the front of the barrel. How about the, the clips? I mean, uh, the grips. Well used Clyde. That's kind of worn, but it, it holds it um, well. If, if, you, if you... It's just more of a fade than anything. Yeah. Which... That's, that's one thing I really like about the CSGO skins. You can make the wear how you want it. Because there are skins where you have the factory new, or Ninja Edition is the exact same as well used, just yeah. darken. There's no wear, it's just fade. So hmm. that that it adds a different twist to it. So if you want the darker skin, go oh, for the bad condition. Justice like Pearl, it. oh god. Desert Damn Stallion. Moment. That is the first Desert Stallion I've got. Oh, Getting teased with pinks and reds, but then getting a blue. Battle worn. I, I will accept that mint desert stallion. I've yet to get one. Oh, if you want, I can give you the one I have. Well, I just got a mint. Oh, nice. So, I'm set. <laughs> Barney. Stop. Mint condition the Barney. The king. <laughs> Oh, you got a king, nice! You're getting two rares, lucky. Broken in. Still. Ooh, the grip really takes one for the yeah. team. Oof. Ooh, a golden serpent. Well, screw you too. <laughs> That's the one that I really want. It's broken. Okay, it, yeah, never mind. It, it's holding pretty well. I, Actually, that's one where I'm gonna be greedy. I'm going for the mint, unless it stays really high in price. Is it high in know. price right now? I I don't know. Un unless it is high in price, like if the lightly mark is not a whole lot difference, like wear wise compared to the mint. Yeah. But the lightly marked is cheaper, for example, then I'll go lightly marked. But. Yeah, this... There's not much more. I will. I'll take a mint for that. 
I want I want that one to be nice and clean. The broken one is not bad, I have to say. And the kite. Awesome. Hey, I got a mint bonnie. Nice. That's timing for the Bonnie and Clyde. Oh god, copper green. I'll pass. Co Wait, you got a copper green? Yeah. Nice. I do too. <laughs> Another desert stallion. Well used. Oh wow, this thing is scratched. Not bad though. Hmm. Interesting. One off the golden serpent. I wouldn't be surprised if it slapped golden serpents on both sides and just taunted me. Oh, I knew about it. I'm opening my last one. Then oh, another. Okay. Yours is going a lot time. quicker than mine. Oh, let's skip a couple. Oh. I see I'm getting something shitty. <laughs> another yeah, mint I... stallion. Safe, huh? Yeah, I might speed this up a little. Oh no, that's okay. Eh. No, I just I don't want to see. Oh, Polito, Polito Madre, Mint Stat. Nice. That will go on the market. <laughs> Probably, because <laughs> that. Actually, I might keep that. I don't know. That'll that'll be a decision for a different day, though. The golden serpent is only like sixty cents. The broken how much? In. The broken in is. Wait, how much? How much was it? S uh, Sixty-six cents. So I'll send you mine. There you go. No, barely missed the classic finish. <laughs> Thanks, game. Last one. Bonnie, yep, okay. Well, I can't no. complain. I got another presidential oil in shit condition. I got so, wow, you got two of those in 20 saves? That's crazy. No, no, no. I only got one from this opening, but I've gotten two others from just personal openings. Oh, I see. So now I'm up to three of them. <laughs> Are you going to go on the market, I suppose? Uh, well, one of my friends wants a well-used, since all I have is well-used and battle-worn. So I'll give him one. I'll probably put the battle-worn on the market. And then the other well used, I'll probably give to Gunny. Make him happy. I, I've sent him so many skins. Way back, I did a trade for the Howl, a battle worn Howl. Didn't re realize how bad it was. So I gave him it. I, sh I shouldn't have, but. <laughs> he, he flipped out. He's like, what? Yep. And we kind of send each other. We borrow the wolf. Which... Oh, which the one I have right now? Oh. Yeah. I think he's back soon. Playing as what? Yeah. Eventually. I just need to get home first. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think that that closes it for the Duke save for today, and we'll see when we get around to do something else. Yeah. School's ending, so I'll be open. Yeah, for Quite me, I'll, I'll be open for a couple months before my job gets really busy. So.